In this Canva tutorial, let's take a look at how to make an Instagram story. So when you're on the Canva homepage, you can actually see some of the templates here that you can create, like an Instagram story. I'm not going to click this though. I'm going to go up to the upper right, just in case you don't see that, where we see create a design. So if we create a new design, we get some suggested document sizes. And you can see Instagram story is right here. And that's a 1080 by 1920 tall uh, post or canvas. So if you want to create it custom, you just create it to that size. Now we click Instagram story and we're going to have this sort of phone size screen here to work with. We can create multiple pages. So if we hide these pages, we can actually add a page here with this button or show pages and add more pages here. You can duplicate pages, etc. There's plenty of tutorials like that on the channel. But if we just want to create one for starter here, let's say actually we could create anything. And, and with Canva Pro, you can actually start with templates. And I would recommend you start there. And so you can go to the design tab up here and maybe search for a theme that you want to look for. So if I search for nice to meet you and we look through this, we have a lot of different types of maybe like hello or meet our team or nice to meet you type of posts uh, that we can utilize. So, you know, if we want to, we could click this one, for instance. And if we click it, it will put the template into our design. So we're going to click it and there it is. So we have this template here in our design. Now this template, if you click through some of the elements, you'll notice this is just shapes. So we could build this out with different elements here on the left, and we could use shapes like squares and rectangles to create pieces like this and edit the color. So this is a good starting point. With a template, you already have some of these shapes created. You have some nice text blocks uh, and some different areas to work with. You could put your website in here at the bottom. You can even change the photo. So let's start there. Let's say you want to change this photo. You can do that pretty easily. If we come over here to the left, we can either A, find a stock photo. If, if this is some other story theme that you're trying to do, you can find a stock photo to use, or we can go to uploads and you could just upload a file of yourself. So you could upload a photo of yourself or something, and then you'll see it here in your images. So for instance, I have a silly photo. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah, I have this one right here. So we can click and drag and we can just place it into that frame where that picture was. And so if I let go, I can see me here. Now I'm a little offset, so I need to double click on this and I can edit the crop. Now I can grab the corners to scale it up and down, and I can also just move it around and reposition it. So there we go, I'm kind of in the center of the frame now. We can click off of the crop and it will sort of commit that change in there. And so now I'm in here. Let's say we wanted to add um, you know, this could be just an image that you upload, but if you want it to be a video, maybe we want to add a little bit of animation, like a hello up here that animates. So let's go back over to elements and maybe search for the word hello. So I'm just going to search for the word hello and see what comes up. In the graphics section, I can click this see all button. And now I can see different animations that are available to me. So if I want to, I can use any one of these. Maybe I want to use this hello right here that sort of draws itself and then, uh, you know, kind of has this animation. So we can click and drag and bring it out here. It might be a little bit too big, so we'll kind of scale it down from the corner and then position it in here. Some of these lines really help center your design. And so there we go. We have this little animation up top here. And, uh, you know, I could, instead of having this say, nice to meet you, I can double click on the text and then I get all my text bar options up here where I can change the font. I can change the size, the color, everything like that. But if I also double click on this and kind of highlight what I want to change here, I could just change the text and say, hi, I'm Spencer, right? And then I could add in a little bio or something like that. So this is turning into more than just an image. Now this is kind of like a video. I've customized it, personalized it. And so what I would want to do now is actually maybe show these pages again, because this page right here, if it is a video, it should have some sort of duration. This video needs to have a time length attached to it, right? The default length is five seconds. Now when I select my page down here, I actually can see that timing up here. And so I can change this time into whatever I want. So if I wanted this story to be 10 seconds long or something, you know, however long you want this to be a part of your story, 
you can change the timing here. Now you can preview this by clicking this play button right here. And we can kind of preview this for 10 seconds and see what that's going to look like. And then we can also export this as either an image file or a video file. So with this share button, we can click that and then come down here to download. And then we get file types that we can download. Now it suggests for us, since we have an animation, it suggests an MP4 video, which is your high quality video format that you would normally use. So if we do a video, we can adjust the quality of it. Personally, I'd take that all the way up as uh, high quality as it gets, and then I would hit the download button. And so that's gonna download that video file. It's gonna be 10 seconds long, and it's gonna include that animation in there, which is kind of a neat little animation that's that's been attached that you can do here in Canva, and you don't actually have to do over on Instagram, for instance. Now we can come back in here and maybe I want to download an image version of this. So we can go up to share, down to download, and then instead of MP4 video on file type, we can scroll up through here and find JPEG. And so this JPEG image should be uh, sized at 1080 by 1920. Remember that was our size, but the quality, I do want to bring that all the way up as well. Now animations won't play on a JPEG. It'll just be like the still image of the animation, which should be the full hello. And so we can click download on that as well. So now we have our MP4 video downloading and our JPEG image. Looks like our JPEG downloaded, so we'll go check that out. In my downloads folder, I can click on that and it's gonna pull open that JPEG. So we have this JPEG image, which is just like a still image that we could utilize. Or as we finish downloading this MP4 file, which I believe your downloads is in here in the lower right hand corner, any downloads that are happening. That just finished, so now we can go check that out as well. So we can click in here, we have a JPEG image and we have the MP4 file. We click on the MP4 and it's gonna open it up to play. Now this is, I'm on a Mac computer, so wherever your downloads are, if you're on Windows, you know, you can go find this video file and double click it to play. But uh, we hit the play button, you can see how the animation uh, actually you know, animates, right? Because this is a video file. So this will play on your timeline for, or in your story for 10 seconds, and then it will go to the next story. And so you can take that and upload it to Instagram. Now, that was one example of like a, hello, this is me, right? Uh, you can also come in here back to your designs and say, you know what, this is, uh, we're going to have a fall sale. And so I'm going to click fall sale in the designs and find a fall sale template. And maybe I want to, uh, you know, click on one of these and, you know, I can apply the style from that as well. If I like the style, I can apply it to what I have out here. Or I could just click on this and I get the option to replace the current page that we have or add as a new page. And maybe I do want to add it as a new page. And so instead of replacing this page, now I have a second page that has the fall super sale. But I can come in here and do the same thing. You know, if I want to add some cool elements, I could search for fall, uh, maybe fall leaves, and then look at the different graphic elements and see if there's anything like this or this one that has leaves that are actually moving around, right? So we could insert that into there and that's that's a pretty cool little movement. Maybe we bring this up here and it's the fall super sale, right? And I got these little leaves that are animating in front of that. You can see how easy this is. Now with Canva Pro, you get a lot more of these types of elements. So, um, you know, I would definitely recommend, there's a affiliate link in the description where you can try Canva Pro for free for 30 days and see if it's worth it for you. I pay for the annual subscription um, and I don't even use Canva that much, but I do think that it's worth not having any features or limitations uh, with the features as you're working in Canva. But I hope this was kind of a helpful little tutorial on how to make Instagram stories here in Canva.